Hi, my name is Major Slack. Thanks for watching this video. I'll get straight to the point because I know a lot of you are probably really pissed off right now that your Just Cause 3 PC controls are all buggered up and you have zero patience and you just want to fix your damn game. Alright, let's get straight to the problem. The problem is, ever since a certain Just Cause 3 patch was issued last March... Yeah, that's right, Avalanche Studios. Last March! and another one recently issued to accommodate some Just Cause 3 DLCs, PC controls got completely buggered up. You may have found that after installing these patches, your PC controls are now a strange mishmash of the default settings and your custom settings. When you attempt to fix this by adjusting the PC control settings in the game, your fix only sticks for that play session. Every time you shut down and restart the game later, your PC controls reset to the same buggered up state they were in after installing the patch. For example, when I uh, booted up my game last night, okay, uh, by the way, humble apologies for my absence. I haven't uh, been uploading any videos for the past four or five days. I was busy busy stockpiling uh, Fallout 4 Survival Plus videos on my other channel, Major Slack Attack. Uh, once again, let's get right to it. Uh, when I booted up Just Cause 3 last night, yes, I wanted to get back to making more Just Cause 3 videos for Major Slack videos. This is what I was faced with. I'm now trying to go forward, and instead my character is going to the right. Uh, I'm now trying to go right and my character tries to detonate explosive. My left button doesn't work, my back button does melee, my controls are all buggered up, completely buggered up. This is nuts. I have two controls for grapple now. I'm, I'm pressing the right mouse button, this does grapple. That's not supposed to be like that, it's supposed to be V. Now I'm pressing V and so I have two controls for grapple. I have double entries for everything, it's nuts. Now when I go into the game options, I'm sure a lot of you PC gamers know already how annoying this is in the Just Cause 3 menu. It's just, it's like, okay, for example, okay, let's say you want to change, um, here we go. Move left is now, or move right is now D for some reason. I use a DCSF configuration instead of a WASD configuration. I want to change move right to F. So do that, F and as you can see it always jumps back to the top that's really annoying to change all this it's annoying enough to have to change all this in the first place I want to change move left to S there we go go back into the game and my mo movement controls are normal but my F button has a double entry alright it's now also trying to detonate explosives so everything's still buggered up my C button is still buggered up with double controls instead of moving back he moves back and does a melee attack okay it's all buggered up it's completely buggered up um, not only that but after having changed all that when I exit the game and come back to the game everything that I set in the settings okay the PC control settings will be lost all right, everything I set in here will be lost and it will go back to the same buggered up state as it was before. Every time I shut down the game and restart the game, it will all go back to the same buggered up state it was in the beginning. And a lot of users are complaining about this. There's a, a lot of forum posts about this uh, and Square Enix has yet to fix this. This happened last March when they issue, issued a patch last March they said they fixed it with the latest patch that accommodates the DLCs. I had the absolute latest patch issued yesterday, June 23rd, and it's still not fixed. And everybody knows it's still not fixed, and everybody's complaining it's still not fixed. How do you fix this shit? Okay, let's get to it. Here's the solution. This is the only way to fix this problem. Um, I'll explain why later on in this video along with some personal notes. For now, like I said, I'm sure a lot of you have zero patience, so let's get right to it. Number one, step one, turn off the game, all right? Step two, go to your Just Cause 3 Save Games folder. That's right here, all right? It's C, users, your username, whatever that might be. Uh, documents, Square Enix, Just Cause 3, saves, and then some long random number. It could be anything, but you'll recognize it right away. It's a long random number, all right? Once you get in that folder, delete the file called, <laughs> it should really be key map. I'm sure they intended to call it key map, but some numbnut 
amidst the Square Enix developers uh, group, you know, misspelt it. I mean, even a five-year-old could spell. Okay, I'll get right to it. Sorry. Rant later. Rant later. Delete cap map. Okay, it's called cap map dot text. Okay, cap map dot text. Don't bother backing it up. If you're watching this video, chances are your kepmap.txt file is now totally foobar, okay? It's foobar. Just delete it. Don't worry about it. It will be reproduced when you start up Just Cause 3, all right? Once it's deleted, start up Just Cause 3. That's step four. Step five, once Just, Just Cause 3 is started up, go to your gameplay settings and make any small change to any setting, okay? This will force the game to generate a fresh kepmap.txt file. Whatever you do, do not, I repeat, do not touch any PC control settings. All right? If you do that, you're going to screw everything up. Don't do don't touch any PC control settings while in the game. Simply exit the game without doing anything else. Step six, return to your Just Cause 3 save game folder as described in step two. And that's C, users, username, document, square, Unix, Just Cause 3 saves the long random number, etc., etc. You'll now have a new kepmap.txt file um, generated in this folder. Step seven, locate your newly created kepmap.txt file, right click on it, and click on edit. All right, you now have kepmap.txt open up in Notepad, Windows Notepad. You must now manually edit all the settings in this file in order to customize your PC controls. Ooh. Yep, <laughs> yeah, I know, it's a real bitch. This is the only way to get your PC control settings to stick. Okay, a few notes on that. Um, all this stuff up here, look up, look down, etc. This is basically referring to your mouse, whichever way you, you move your mouse and point your you know your mouse, your character will look in that direction. You could just safely leave all that alone. Let's scroll on down here to something that uh, we can use as an example, such as here. Throw grenade, all right? Here's the code for throw grenade. The action describes the action and the key describes the key that is set to throw a grenade. Basically the code is PC underscore and the whatever key you want to use to, th to throw a grenade. All you have to do is change, okay you can see right here I have the W key set to throw a grenade. If you want another key, let's say you want the X key to throw the grenade. Simply delete the W or whatever that is may be for you and type in an X. That's all you have to do. Alright, now the X key will throw the grenade. All right. I'll change back to W. Here, reload. I have um, my reload key set to X. Let's say you want the reload key set to R. Okay, just delete whatever that is, whatever the X is in place of X. Type in R and your reload button is now R. Okay, rinse and repeat for everything through this list. A lot of these things won't be applicable. Anything that says gamepad won't be applicable um, unless you're actually using a gamepad. I can't help you there, sorry. Um, so just ignore all the gamepad controls. Uh, some of these controls um, I don't understand. I just left them as default. Um, but most of them are self-explanatory. Exit vehicle, sound horn, uh, bike tilt forward. Yeah, most of them are fairly self-explanatory. Anything with heli in it refers to helicopter. Uh, here's plane controls. Bike controls, etc., etc. GUI, I just left alone. I didn't touch anything there, all right? That just refers to when you're in menus. And as you can see, here's a whole bunch of mech controls here. Uh, this is the absolute latest patch I have installed. Today is June 24, 2016, and I, have, I installed the absolute latest patch yesterday, last night, okay? So I have the absolute latest patch, so don't anybody say to me, oh, well, you don't have the latest patch installed. That's why it's screwed up. It's not screwed up because of that. It's screwed up because Square Enix is just a bunch of fucking idiots, okay? Pardon my French, but seriously, this is disgraceful. I'll get into my rant later, all right? Um, so that's it. Once you've customized everything the way you want, click on file and save the file alright or you could just press control S on your keyboard to save the file 
once you have done that back up the file okay go back to your folder right click on kepmap.txt click on copy and paste it into another safe folder on your PC so that this file is backed up in case anything screws up now you can play Just Cause 3 and the PC controls will stick uh, a couple more notes as you're scrolling through your kepmap.txt file um, if you notice any duplicate entries don't delete them all right do not delete anything in this file same goes for as I mentioned before gamepad settings okay if you see any gamepad code don't delete all the gamepad controls saying to yourself oh well I'm gonna clean up this file to make it a lot easier to read don't delete anything in this file that's the key to creating this glitch okay whenever something is deleted from the file uh, the game reads the file as a corrupt file and then reproduces or like deletes the file and reproduces the kepmap.txt file and you get the same corrupt bar buggered up garbage that you got before alright so don't delete anything you can only edit these settings if you see any gamepad settings just leave them as is don't touch them alright and I would also recommend once I said leave all the GUI settings as is alright Step 10. Start up the game and everything should work fine. That is, your PC controls will now stick and won't reset every time you start the game. Uh, and you can play normally. Warning! If you wish to make any further changes to your PC controls, do not attempt to do this using the in-game settings. You must always manually edit the kepmap.txt file as described uh, previously while the game is not running. All right. Um, and if your PC controls are no longer resetting, then there is no longer any need to keep deleting the kepmap.txt file anymore. Simply exit the game, open up the kepmap.txt file in Notepad and make further changes. Then save the file, back up the file and restart the game and everything will proceed as normal. All right. Now for my rant. Avalanche Studios. This is fucking disgraceful. I paid 80 bucks for this game. I should not have to jump through hoops and dig into the game files and edit the game code in order to adjust my PC controls. Once again, this is fucking disgraceful. Do you hear me? We want a patch now, okay? This has been four months like this. Come on, all right? This is disgraceful for a triple A game. Seriously, this is disgraceful. I paid 80 bucks for this game. I should not have to do this. All right. Uh, if I did not like this game so much, I wouldn't bother. I would just throw it in the junk heap along with all my other crappy, buggered up, uh, no good games. But I really like Just Cause 3, so I'm willing to jump through hoops to do this. But uh, really, this is disgraceful. Issue a patch now and fix it. All right. <laughs> um, that's it for this video. I want to thank you all very much for watching. If you have anything to add, please comment. And um, if, having, if you're having any problems uh, with this fix, please comment and we'll try to help you out. And if you thought this video was remotely entertaining and or uh, informative, please subscribe to my channel to get more videos like this hot off the press. All right. See you next video.